Little hello, this is Bobby Connor. Thank you for watching Bobby's Briefings. I want to talk to us today about being, are you really plugged in? See, a lot of people, they, they're not plugged in. One time I was trying to get a lamp to burn. I changed the bulb. I did all this. And then finally I looked and saw that I didn't have it plugged into the wall. Now, there's a lot of Christians that are like that. They got a lamp, but they have no light because they're not plugged in. We need to be plugged into the power source. And the power source is none other than the Holy Spirit. Not one single miracle is recorded in the New Testament that Jesus Christ did until he was filled with the Holy Spirit. Acts 10.38 says, God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. Hour. And that's what we need. We need a new appreciation for the Holy Spirit. He's a God agent at work on this earth today, and he, he wants to empower us to do mighty deeds for God. Acts 1 8 said, But you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you, and you will be a witness. I'm telling you guys, if if you're going to be a, a fervent, really effective witness for Jesus Christ, you must be led by the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit always will honor and glorify the Lamb of God. I want to read to you what Jesus. Christ said concerning the Holy Spirit. Now, the Holy Spirit really, really, really is important because we've got to be filled with the Holy Spirit if we're going to do the mighty deeds of God. Listen to what Jesus Christ taught about the Holy Spirit in the Gospel of John. I'll be reading out the Amplified Classic Version, and I love that version. Hope you can get one. Here it is. I'm reading out of John chapter 16, starting with verse 13. But when he the spirit of truth, the truth giving spirit comes. He will guide you in all truth, the whole truth, the full truth. He will not speak his message on his own authority, but he will tell you whatever he hears from the father. He will give the message that has been given unto him and he will announce and declare to you the things that are to come that will happen in the future. Look at verse 14. He will honor and glorify me. Listen, beloved, every time the Holy Spirit moves, he's got one mission and that's to honor and glorify the Lamb of God. And I want you to get to know more about the Holy Spirit. He wants to guide you. He wants to be your tutor. He wants to be your uh, teacher. And he wants to be your comforter. And he is so available to us. He wants to be, he wants to lead us in a very pristine and clear way. And that's what happens when we yield our life to him. One of my favorite verses concerning the Holy Spirit is Nehemiah 9.20. He gave his good spirit to instruct his people and did not withhold his manna from their mouth. That's a marvelous verse. He gave his good spirit, say good spirit. He gave his good spirit to instruct them. And the word instruct there is a Hebrew word that's big and broad. It's like a mother teaching a little toddler to walk and an army general teaching his army to, to war. And so in any spectrum of your life, the Holy Spirit can adequately and, and, and perfectly direct you and guide you. So this is Bobby's Briefings and I thank you for watching and I pray that you'll hunger and thirst for this infilling of the Holy Spirit. And every day we ought to say, Father, I pray you'll fill me afresh with the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Thank you.